This is the final video about my shortwave radio. Uh, I'm sure we are listening now to radio amateurs. Because there is no beat frequency oscillator here, we only hear this distorted sound. A uh, little bit broken sound, typical for um, radio amateurs or single sideband signals. So if there was a beat frequency oscillator, we could make these radio stations uh, audible. Typical a sound from a not well detected single sideband signal. Okay, let's go to other stations. Also interesting to detect. Uh, another radio amateur station, I think. French radio station, normal radio station, no single sideband, normal amplitude modulated radio station. All received on this one meter wire. So, other, let's try. This is one of the radio band signals that you hear always in Europe, in the Netherlands. Kind of broadband, whatever uh, signal. I can't define it or don't know where it comes from. Again, Radio China, I think. This must be an Arabic radio station. Kind of calling from the Muezzin. And here we receive nothing. Back again. These stations we have already identified. You could see that the uh, uh, VFO is very critical, in fact too critical for these shortwave radio stations with a frequency deviation from say 500 kilohertz or so. So the stronger radio stations um, go over the weak radio stations in a very easy way, but that can be cured by the Antenna cap. Somewhat. Uh, 
French radio station. This is a typical weak radio station. Let's try to get it out of the noise. Doesn't succeed so much. I can hear here a radio station. And I think it is again an amateur radio station working on single sideband. And I don't have a beat frequency oscillator, so this is all that there is to tell about that radio station. Interesting sounds here again when you are able to detect them. And even with a computer, for instance, you can uh, hear what all these Morse sounds uh, mean. You can uh, make all these Morse sounds visible, the text, etc. Tune further. Noise. Strong radio station, I think from Eastern Europe. Or, sorry, it's I think it's Arab or Middle East. And you can see also that in between these gears uh, very, very tiny differences give already another radio station. And here you can also see that the antenna coil helps you to receive that specific radio station. When the VFO is not exactly tuned to that frequency, the antenna coil helps you to get that frequency out. And that's the reason why both uh, capacitors are separated. I think again an Arab radio station. Stable job and often it is a professional job because you know then you have one kind of skill or and here you again see the extreme small small uh, change in capacitance from the VFO uh, makes that the another radio station appears. Extremely small changes. And here it it all ends. So there is a certain band here where a lot of radio stations appear, and this is the best test quickly uh, run over the band with the uh, tuning capacitor to see where, you're, where you can ex uh, expect radio stations. And then tune the antenna cap. 